Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If y'all return to subscribe, what's good? If y'all new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So let me just say good morning to y'all, okay? Happy Sunday. <laughs> and I wanted to bring y'all a morning message. I was literally sitting up, thinking about all the times I went to church. I'm just sitting up reflecting y'all, and I just wanted to come to reminisce with y'all a little bit. But <laughs> I remember I used to go to Sunday school. I grew up in Chicago, and so our church was literally the next block over from where we lived and so i remember we would have to walk to church and we been going to church every sunday with my grandmother but when she started getting real sick she had rooms for her arthritis so it was a lot of things she really couldn't do after a while and so she would basically be at home a lot and so we had to walk to church every sunday morning <laughs> and it was a blessing that the church was literally right on the next block and so we didn't have to go too far but i just remember going to sunday school and just <laughs> Just didn't I remember. I know my grandmother probably gonna be rolling over her grave when I share this with y'all. But I had got so sick of going to church every Sunday to the point well, because not only was we going to church every Sunday, like we was literally in church like almost every day out of the week. Every little program event that they had going on in church, our grandmother had us stand up for. Like I remember I was part of the young women's auxiliary, Bible study, I was part of the choir. I was just in everything. I'm like, ma'am, grandma, like why I can't just have a normal like why i just can't live regular like everybody else like i literally want to stay at home i want to go outside and play with my friends but i was always in church for something okay and so <laughs> i remember okay so i was in the choir y'all and so we used to have to wear these long hot big robes to church it was like every other sunday we would have to wear our church robe any other Sunday, we, we would have to wear black and white or all black. But every other Sunday, we would have to wear choir robes. And so, <laughs> I was taking advantage of this opportunity. Like, when my grandmother got too sick to go to church, I remember, <laughs> yeah. Don't crucify me in the comments, but this was so wrong. But I was getting so tired of church to the point where I would ditch church, y'all. Yeah. I would ditch church to go to my boyfriend's house. He lived all the way on the west side of Chicago. And I remember I used to have these, this hot roll, like literally, I used to be playing it off so cool. <laughs> my grandmother, my grandmother, yeah, I was sitting up there choking. My grandmother would be in the kitchen cooking breakfast every Sunday morning. And so the back door, we lived in a big house. And so the back porch, was connected to the downstairs where the basement was okay so it was, you go outside on the back porch you go down and then you go down a little more to the basement and <laughs> some little stairs right there and so i remember i used to wear my regular clothes up under my sunday robe like i had already had in my mind that i wasn't gonna go to church that day and so I leave up out of the door like that grandma i see you later acting like i'm really finna go get sanctified and filled with the holy spirit <laughs> I'm walking up at it up, playing it off so good. And so I always make sure that the door was closed. And I would go up under the porch and I would take off that choir robe and put it up under the back porch. I already knew that my grandmother wasn't going to come outside and check and do stuff. Like, even though my grand, I told you before in previous video that my grandmother was extremely strict. It wasn't too much that I could really get past her. But. <laughs> Put that quiet roll up under the porch and went on about my way. But yeah, that was just something I wanted to share with y'all. But man, I had got to a point in my life to where I had always had a belief in the Lord. But because my grandmother was so strict and religious, I just really feel like I didn't really have a normal life. Like I didn't have a childhood. I see the blessing in it now, you know, just coming and sharing this with y'all. But I really see the blessing and why she always wanted me to go to church, why she always wanted me to take it serious. And that's something I will never forget. But I remember um, some of the members from the church. I thought I was getting away with bloody murder, y'all. But some of the members from the church was calling her and telling her that I wasn't showing up for choir rehearsal because usually we would have to have choir rehearsal right before service. And so I don't know who I thought I was. I don't know how I thought I was going to be able to get away with this because my grandmother was one of the 
members of the church everybody in the church knew my grandmother <laughs> so i knew that i wasn't gonna be able to get away with it too long but yeah some of the members of the church was asking why i wasn't coming to church and stuff like that and so i had got caught caught and so and yeah <laughs> I can't get this out, y'all. We used to have to march in from the back of the church every Sunday. And I'm just sitting up thinking, like, <laughs> while they marching in, I was on that 79th Street bus in the house. <laughs> I'm always my boyfriend. Out. I was just sitting up picturing, like, I'd be sitting on the bus thinking, like, dang, you know, they probably marching in right now. <laughs> And I'm on my way ready to go seeing something serious. <laughs> Man, y'all just wanted to share that with y'all. But I just wanted to get into the message of this video. Like, I literally was sitting up. I don't know why. I was just reminiscing from the chapter Exodus where Moses had an encounter with the Lord. You know, the Lord had appeared to him from a burning bush and basically gave him instructions on what he needed to do. And the Lord chose him for a reason. And I'm going to give a testimony behind this. And I'm just going to ask the Lord to hold my hand. And if I get to crying, y'all, just ignore that, okay? This is just a huge part of what inspired me to start my channel. And it's so crazy because this morning I was sitting up trying to figure out what I was going to make a message about, what I was going to talk about. And I have shared with y'all plenty of times on my channel that I used to be extremely shy. And I was just, I used to be a mute. And I really just thought about the book of Exodus with Moses, where Moses basically had a speech problem. He had a speech impediment. And the Lord chose him to speak to people. And Moses felt like he really couldn't do it. And he basically started questioning the Lord, like, why you chose me out of all people? Choose somebody else. And the Lord said, no. You know, the Lord literally was angry with him. Like, why are you resisting me? I'm your Lord, your God. You do as I say type of energy you know what i'm saying and so when i thought about that chapter and them verses like i literally just got real emotional because that was actually part of my story you know it's just so crazy how you can read things in the bible or reminisce things in the bible things that you might have learned from sunday school just things that you never knew that was going to end up being part of your story that was going to end up being part of your testimony in your life but I really resonated with Moses in that chapter Exodus in. <laughs> That's literally my testimony. I used to be so quiet and closed off and shy. And I just really got to come and give glory and thanks to the Lord for giving me the voice in the speech to be able to come and speak to people. And I never would have thought there would have came a time to where I would be coming on land doing nothing like this. That's how I would never let nobody come on here and silence my voice. I would never let nobody try to intimidate me and stop me from doing what the Lord has called me to do. Like when the Lord calls you to do something, you must answer. You cannot go against what he tell you to do. Um, Moses didn't want to speak. And the Lord said, I'm your Lord, your God. I made the lame walk. I made the deaf hear. And I made the mute speak. <laughs> I want you to speak to the people. And the Lord called him up out of his silence. He broke them shackles of silence off of Moses. He removed the fear away from Moses. And I just really had to sit up and think about that because the Lord will always remove. When you have faith and belief in the Lord, he will remove any fear from you. If you have a fear of speaking, that is how you are going to know that the Lord is real. Is when you have you come and do things and you know that it's outside of yourself and it ain't nobody but him because something that you fear, this might have been a childhood fear, something that you had been battling with since you was a child and just, just when you feel like the Lord is not moving and working to your life, he is moving and working in so many different ways. And I remember I battled with Shannon's and so much throughout my life in school I used to get picked on and teased for being a quiet girl for being a shy girl like I was one of the smartest kids in class but because I didn't have enough confidence and I had a fear of speaking I would fail so many of my classes and I had got to a point to where I got it together you know I really started to do my work but I remember I had so much of a fear of speaking I just always felt like I was suffering like 
always felt like I was a failure because I didn't have enough confidence or the voice to speak. And it really started to affect my life in so many different ways. Like, and I'm just sitting up here crying because it's just so amazing how the Lord is. He would put a speech on you that was never there before. I never would have thought that I would be on YouTube giving people spiritual kindness, let alone making a testimony about nothing like this. <laughs> I hate to be emotional like this, but this is literally a heartfelt, at opening moment for me. And that's why I always come and tell y'all that if you feel like you have a call, you feel like you have a purpose or a gift, then you need to operate in your gifts. You need to let the Lord use you. I know a lot of people have a fear of speaking. They are extremely shy. I know I've been seeing a lot of people use introverted, you know, to yourself and things like that. And it used to be me. That's why I'm very understanding to a lot of people. You know, a lot of people, they just are afraid to speak. They feel like they are going to be judged. They are going to be talked about. I had problems with my speech. And I started to notice that the more I gained more confidence. And the Lord was literally holding my hand, bringing me through it. He gave me so much strength and courage. And then I started to notice I just became this new person. And I was so proud of myself. And I knew it wasn't nobody but the Lord. He gave me all of this strength and all this confidence. I started to notice that my speech had improved a lot. I would notice that I had a different level of confidence and a different level of strength. And I literally just got to come and give glory and thanks to the Lord for giving me the speech, for giving me the voice to be able to speak to people. I had... It had a certain point in my life to where I was so shy that I didn't want people to notice me. And it was just a childhood fear that I knew I had to get over at some point. <clears throat> and I just remember just being so fearful. I used to be so shy and quiet that I didn't even want people to know that this was the person I used to be. I know I'm not shy no more, but I can just come and give my testimony about it. Like I was literally so quiet and shy to the point where I was embarrassed. Bad. I didn't want people to know that that was the type of girl I used to be. And I just remembered so many different times to where I was losing out on opportunities of doing certain things because I was too shy. Even something as simple as trying to go get a job opportunity. This was like when I was younger, younger. Like when I was down on my own and I had to get a job, a plan for apartments and things like that. And that's when life really hit me then that was when i really started becoming fearful that was when i really was taking a lot of spiritual hits and that was really when i could say that i felt as though the enemy had his hands on me i was so fearful of speaking to the point to where i didn't even want to open my mouth to get certain opportunities handed to me because i was too quiet and even when i did open my mouth i had it, it just literally like took me all the way back to my childhood this had to be when i was about 18 or 19 years old and I would just have so many people say to me, like, speak up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. And I've had so many different times where I would be on the phone. I remember it was a few times where I would get the phone hung up on me because people would always be telling me, oh, I can't hear you. You need to speak up. And I started noticing that a lot of people was not taking me seriously because I was too shy. I was too quiet. And I just remember... I had got to a point to where I was starting to get angry and frustrated. Like it was a few times to where I had got so angry and frustrated to the point where I'm like, I'm not finna let this fear take over me. I'm not finna let this fear conquer me. Like I have to open my mouth and speak. I have to learn how to project my voice. I've always been a soft-spoken person my entire life. And a lot of times that would work against me. I just started to notice that a lot of people was not taking me seriously. And I had the door closed in my face so many times. I had literally had to sit down and have a conversation with myself and with the Lord. It was plenty of times where I prayed to the Lord for him to give me confidence, for him to give me the voice to speak. I remember vividly sitting down, having a conversation with the Lord, telling him, like, Lord, I'm so tired of suffering. Like, I don't want to be shy. I don't want this fear anymore. I want you to be able to take this away from me. I know how much you have instilled in me. I know how much knowledge I have. I have so much greatness from within me and I want to be able to share this with the world. But I have a fear of speaking. And I just remember praying so hard and strong to the Lord. And I remember a few times where I had the Lord speak to me and tell me. Those times where I felt fearful, I remember just feeling as though the Lord was telling me like, 
you need to open your mouth and speak. You need to speak. And I started noticing that my shyness was starting to really take over my life to the point to where it was so many different things happening to me. And it really started to work against me. People would do and say certain things to me all because they knew that I was fearful of speaking. I didn't even have the strength and the courage to even stand up for myself. I was literally a mute, yeah, like literally. That bullet exodus, that's my life story right there. I just remember I felt like I was suffering internally because this fear was literally taking over me to the point to where my life was being destroyed relationships with people. I just felt fearful of a lot of things. My shyness was destroying my life in a sense. And every single time I would just hear the Lord say, you need to speak, you need to open your mouth and speak. And it was almost as if I felt as though he was making me suffer because I wasn't using my voice. I felt as though I was Moses in a sense because I was saying to him, I have a speech problem. So why do you want me to open my mouth and speak? And it was almost as if the Lord was punishing me for going against him. I gave you a purpose. You have a gift. I already told y'all that I always felt like I had a spiritual gift. It was so many things that I was experiencing. So much spiritual warfare all the way from when I was a child. But I just always felt as though the Lord was literally putting me through that suffering because he wanted me to live my purpose. He wanted to bring me up out of my shyness. He wanted me to break those shackles of silence. He wanted me to do what he had called me to do. I knew I had purpose. I knew what I was supposed to come and do. I didn't think that it was ever going to be YouTube, but I knew that I was going to be speaking to a lot of people. I just, I think this. And the Lord will always present visions to you as well. Like if you see yourself doing something or you dream of yourself doing something, that's your purpose right there. That's a lot of times that's the way the Lord is trying to communicate with you. But I just remember vividly just feeling as though I was suffering so much and I didn't have a better understanding of why I was suffering like this until I started getting a little bit older. And I just remember just sitting up thinking to myself and I know I it was the Lord speaking to me as well. He's like, you're going to keep continuing to suffer if you don't open your mouth and speak. I gave you a voice to speak and I need you to use it. I need you, chat introverted person. I need you to speak to people. I don't need nobody else. It's easy for somebody who don't have a speech problem. It's easy for somebody who is very outspoken to get in front of a lot of people and speak it. That ain't no problem for them. I remember just thinking like, had Moses thought, like, why are you sending me at all people? I got a speech problem. And the Lord said, I already know that. But I'm choosing you for a reason. I'm choosing you. You have purpose. It's a reason why I'm choosing you. It's easy for me to go ask somebody else to do it. But I want you to do it. And I just remember thinking like, I feel how Moses felt, but I'm afraid. I don't want people judging me. I don't want people talking about me. I just got to thank him for giving me the platform to speak. I look at my videos sometimes and sometimes I can't even believe that that's me. Like I never would have thought I would have been this person to have all this confidence, not to only speak, but to speak in so much depth. Like I never would have thought I would have had the willpower or the wherewithal to get on camera and speak for an hour. Like I be looking at my videos. I'd be so amazed and I'd be so proud of myself too. And I always thank the Lord. Like I never give myself too much credit. Like I already know that it's, here's the reason why. I have this platform. Here's the reason why I have the longevity to push out certain messages and say certain things. A lot of times when I come on camera, I really don't know what I'm going to say. And I really have to pray to the Lord and ask him to give me the right words to say, the right message to put, the right spirit. A lot of times I come on camera, I know that I'm not in the right spirits. I always ask the Lord, please give me the right spirit to be able to give these people the message, to push the message. I can be going through certain things in my life and I feel as though I don't want to come on camera, but I will have the Lord speak to me and tell me, this is what I want you to speak about. And a lot of times when I come and share certain things, I do sit back and think certain times like, okay, I feel like that was probably an overshare. I shouldn't have shared that. But the Lord wants me to operate in my purpose. He don't want me to care about what other people think. That was the whole reason why he brought me on this platform to speak. He broke shackles of sight and stuff off of me. He put a speech on me that was never there before. OK. And I will always come on here and speak for as ever long as I need to. I already know that he is holding my hand. It's so many different times where I have came on camera and 
I'm just sitting there talking and I'm really not knowing what I want to say next. And I would just feel the Holy Spirit just flowing through me. It's undescribable when it comes to having a relationship with the Lord, when he is literally working through you. It's going to feel like something that's outside of yourself. Like if you are a shy, introverted person, you are not going to be able to get online and speak for this long. You are not going to be able to captivate people's attention. He will give you the strength. He will give you the voice. He will give you the projection of your voice. He will give you the eloquence in your speech. He will give you the longevity. Okay, because you know how when you shy and you say faces, let's go back to school. School was my worst nightmare. When it was happening for us to get up and do oral presentations or do oral reading, that was my worst nightmare. You know, I want to get up and read and sit right back down. I'm going to read a couple of sentences and sit right back to him. And this is how I know the Lord has literally been working through my life. And I will always give glory and thanks to him just to get on land and speak for so long. That's a blessing in itself. That's a gift in itself. Just having a voice to speak, not even just having a spiritual gift, having the voice to speak. That's a gift as well. A lot of people don't have it because they don't have the confidence. And I just literally have to thank the Lord all the time for giving me my channel, for giving me my voice. You know, I never would have had enough confidence to come on here like this. Anybody that knows me, they know how I used to be. People that I went to school with, people that I grew up with, they always knew that I was shy and quiet. And I just got to literally just sit up and just thank the Lord. Like, he would literally put a speech on you that was never there before. It's unbelievable. The Lord will work miracles in your life in ways that you never would have thought was imaginable. You would be speaking in such a way that's even amazing for you okay you can't even believe that this is you that's speaking that's how you know it's nothing but the lord and i could never come and take too much credit like i know i get comments from y'all a lot where y'all say thank you bless you i thank everybody on my channel that has left any words of encouragement anybody that has ever sent any support to my channel i literally appreciate y'all I can't take the full credit. I got to give all glory and thanks and credit to the Lord because I wouldn't even have this platform if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't be sitting up here speaking like this. I wouldn't have even had the confidence to be so transparent with y'all. I came on here and shared so many personal things. But I'm just like, Lord, was I supposed to share that? And I just feel the Lord say to me, you don't need to be caring about what people think about you. Okay, when you develop a certain level of confidence, a certain level of strength, you are not going to care what the world has to say about you, even if it's something that's extremely embarrassing. When you know you didn't get past certain struggles and obstacles, you have overcame so much, you do not care what nobody got to say about it, especially if you have already overcame it. You have no fear when it comes to being on this walk with Christ. And that's another thing I want to push in this message. You have no fear. You know, you don't care about what people are going to say about you. You can't share the most embarrassing testimony about certain things that you have been through in your life. You already know there's going to be people out here that's going to be judging you behind the camera. You know, they ain't going to say it in your comment section. They ain't going to say it to you, but they're going to be thinking it. You already know this, but because you know you have a purpose and you already know that you have been called to do something, you all that type of stuff fall to the wayside. You do not care about the judgments and the opinions of other people. And that's another way you are going to be able to know that you are walking with Christ for real. Okay. When you are walking boldly, this is where it comes to walking boldly in your purpose. You don't have a fear behind nothing. You go from being this lukewarm Christian to being a full blown believer. You are a bold believer. You know, you do not care what people are going to think about you, what they are going to say about you, judgments, none of that type of stuff. They talked about Jesus. They crucified him on the cross. You know, Jesus did so much for these people. He helped these people in so many different ways and they crucified him. So that literally goes without saying, like, it don't matter what you do or say how you live your life. People are always going to have something to say about you, whether you're doing good or bad. If I was never even come out here and make a channel, I would feel like I have failed in life. <laughs> My life would have been so much different if I would have never made a channel. I know that it's a lot of people that they may be on here because they just want the popularity. They may want views and subscribers, but this is more than that to me. This is my life right here. Um, I'm operating in my gifts for real. It's genuine. And that's why I always come on here and it seems as though I'm very passionate and it sometimes it may seem as though I'm upset. And I'm angry a lot of times because I don't like when people come and play with the Lord and hang. I don't like when people try to come and discredit my relationship with the Lord. The Lord has got me through so much. 
he not only broke those chains of silence up off of me, he has done so many other things in my life. He has turned my life around in so many ways. And I'm not finna let nobody on this platform come and discredit my relationship with him. I'm not never finna let nobody come and try to make it seem like I'm on here for views and subscribers. I'm a materialistic, vain kind of person. Like, yeah, I'm a woman that love fashion. I love putting myself together. I love showing my strength through the way that I come and present myself on land. I'm not never finna be coming on land looking broken. I'm not finna be coming on here looking like what I've been through, okay? I'm not already gained my strength behind it. So I'm going to come and present myself. I'm going to come and show my strength, okay? I'm gonna come on here with my hair done. I'm gonna come on here with my makeup on. I'm gonna come on here dressed to the best, okay? Because this is my strength. It goes way beyond being materialistic, stuck up, vain, and all that type of stuff. A lot of people, they do certain things like that. They are always trying to go into people's looks. These people be envious. You, They see something special on you. It has a lot to do with your appearance. And then it has a lot to do with what you carry. It has more so to do with what you carry more than what is presenting, your packaging. And I made a video on Christmas about you have gifts, so use them. Do not let others discredit your gifts. When you know you have a gift and you know that you have been called from the Lord for real, do not let nobody come and discredit that, okay? You know how far the Lord has brought you. You know for real what he has done in your life. So don't ever let nobody come and discredit your gift. And this is another thing about walking boldly in your purpose and in your calling is that you have so much of a confidence to the point to where you know how to take a stand for yourself. You stand up to the people that try to come up against you. You know, you have no fear. Okay, some of these spirits know that you used to battle with shyness. They know that you used to have a speech impediment, a speech problem. And so they are always going to try to throw little tactics out there to get you to silence your voice once again. You will never take me back to that place again, okay? I will always come and speak out against these evil spirits, especially the ones that are coming to try to silence people's voice. That's why a lot of people are afraid to start their channel because they got so many different spirits out here trying to convince them not to. Oh, you need to be quiet. You don't need to share too much of your life. That's too much. That's an overshare and things like that. I have said before that certain things you shouldn't divulge to certain people. But like I said, everybody has their own purpose and their own calling. Some people have to share personal testimonies. They have to tell more than too much about themselves just to get their message and push their message. Okay. A lot of people have different purpose. A lot of people are not going to be able to do what you do. Okay. And this ain't no arrogance trying to make it seem like I'm better than people and stuff like that. I just came and shared with y'all a vulnerable testimony about myself. This used to be something that I was embarrassed about. I didn't want people to know that I used to be shy because shyness is a vulnerability. You are open and vulnerable when you are shy. That's why the Lord put a voice and a speech on you. Okay. You can't do nothing but thank the Lord for that. It has everything to do with showing your purpose. It has everything to do with showing your relationship with the Lord. And that's one thing people don't understand. They come and project their life onto you. They project their envy and their jealousy towards you because of your gifts. Okay? It really, 9, 10, 9, 10, it really don't have nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with what you carry. It took me a while to figure that out before too. Because I used to have times where I would sit back and think like, okay... Why it seem like some people's just trying to throw shots at me, throw daggers at me online. And I'm just coming to being extremely transparent, y'all. I'm not coming to shitcoat nothing on my channel, for real. I didn't been in silence for way too long, being a child, coming up into my younger adulthood. I'm going to come and tell the truth and shame the devil every single time, okay? But you be having people online to be throwing shots at you, throwing daggers at you. They see your videos. They know your channel. I even had somebody email me to try to tell them, this is how I know that my influence is powerful. I know that my influence is reaching certain people, even though it's so many things that I don't even come and share with y'all, but I'm going to share this with y'all. This is a powerful part of my testimony. This is why I always come and tell y'all that if you are a small channel, do not give up. Keep pushing towards. It's always somebody that's watching, even if it's just one person that you are reaching. That's all that matters. The Lord ain't never been one to care about numbers, okay? Subscribe accounts, none of that type of stuff. He gave you a purpose to come and speak to people, even if it's just one person, okay? But I had somebody email me a few weeks back. They tried to act as though they were... um the email was weird. I actually, I don't know how they had got my email because I don't have my email in my description. But I had got an email from somebody. I had thought that they were somebody from the YouTube team. And they got to tell me something about my vi one of my videos. I, it was a video about your walk with Christ will trigger others, okay? 
they put the whole subtitle up there and everything. They literally tried to act as though they were a YouTube creator. And see, this is the one thing about people. When it comes to being on this walk with Christ, discern me. Being able to decipher and read people's spirit. If you come and make content about spiritual gifts, if you come and make content and you are literally walking with the Lord for real, this is where you really are going to see the spiritual warfare. This is really when you are going to see the opposition. So I had somebody come in and they was telling me, oh, I noticed that you have a lot of good influence on your channel. Your videos, are, and I'm not making this up. I may put a screenshot of the message in my video to show y'all. But whoever this person was, they've been watching all my videos. That's why they felt the need to email me. They said, although your videos are powerful, you don't really have that much of a reach. And when I read it, I was kind of taken back a little bit, you know, but I quickly rebuked that and I dismissed that because I already know the numbers on my videos, the views that I get. I already know that my influence is reaching people, okay? Even though these people may not come and comment and say nothing, I, I don't care. I already know who is reaching. I already know that my message is reaching and teaching so many different people, okay? Real recognize real. Anybody that is a firm believer in the Lord, they know that I'm up on here for real. I'm up on here trying to help people. I don't care about no money. I don't care about no subscriber count or none of that, okay? Of course, I care about the views because that's the only way my message are going to be able to reach people, but... I wouldn't care if I only had one or two views. I wouldn't care, okay? I came on here in my channel, I remember I only had 11 subscribers. So it was never about the numbers to me. It was about the influence. It was about my purpose. The Lord had to give me certain confidence. The Lord still has to do his work on me now with my channel, okay? I know that I still have room to grow. I love the process behind growth. I'm not one of those type of people to like to rush things. Says I like the process behind waiting. Okay, I know that I'm not going to be able to get to where I want being in a rush. Ain't nothing good going to come to a person that wants something quick. You know, even these people with these huge channels, more power and success to them. I know a lot of people have their subscriber count because they deserve those subscribers. Okay, some people really do have a huge channel because that's what they deserve. That's what the Lord blessed them with. They are on here operating and they are working for him for real. It ain't nothing fake and fraudulent behind some of these people's channel. You can literally see other people gives too. You know, you pay homage to the people. You... Give them their flowers. You know, you ain't no hater. <laughs> Not when it comes to the Lord. And that's another thing. People be coming on here trying to compete with other people that they see are uh, walking and they call and they may see that this person carried a certain kind of gift and they start to get envious and jealous. That ain't nothing but a d distraction. Okay. You need to learn how to ignore people like that. The Lord will even give you the strength to be able to ignore your opposition in a way to where they are not distracting you. Because when you're operating with the Lord, he is going to make sure that you don't get sidetracked. He's going to make sure you don't get distracted. He is going to be the one to turn your ears and your ass away from certain people that is not of him. He is going to show you who is not really of him. You know, it's not for you to make no announcements. It's not for you to call these people names out, put their pictures, put their names or their pictures up in your videos. You already know who is a believer in him and who is not because you know that you are walking with him for real. Okay? And so when people try to come up against you, it be something crazy. I already know who rocking and rolling me. I don't have to come and over explain myself. I don't have to come and overly convince people of nothing. Okay? The real people know. They know. But back to this email. This person came and told me, they was like, oh, you have really great videos, but I know a way that you can gain more subscribers, okay? I know another way that you can push your channel to be a more bigger channel. And I'm sitting up here thinking that this is really YouTube, and so I'm on board with it. And then the Lord had to come speak to me once again, okay? This is complete transparency, okay? If I got to go into the deep and crevices of what the Lord has showed me, that's what I'm going to do, okay? But and so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I appreciate your critique, even though I felt as though this person was low-key trying to throw shade, basically trying to sell me off. You got good videos, but you ain't got that much big of a channel, but I can help you get the certain kind of reach that you're looking for a whole time. I don't even care about that type of stuff. My channel could see where it's at for the next few years. As long as I got the loyal A1 Day Ones on my channel, I don't want a whole bunch of fake supporters on my channel okay don't subscribe to my channel if you ain't really rocking with me like that i could care less about your subscription but this person tried to come and try to act like they was going to be a person that was going to help me get a bigger channel and so i wrote a professional message back to this person i'm basically sitting up here thinking that this is one of the head honchos of youtube the person that created the platform okay so i'm like okay i'm open to critique i'm very much open to constructive criticism okay 
I know I'm not perfect. I know that I can make improvements in some ways. So I'm very much open to that. But I already know who brought me up on this platform. So you can't really help me with my channel because you didn't help me grow my channel. You're not the person that brought me on here. So I already kind of had a feeling that this person had other motives behind this email. And so I kind of waited around for it. I had that conviction from the Lord that told me this person is up on your channel for a different agenda. They see what kind of influence you are pushing out here. They already know that you are a huge influencer. Okay. It don't matter how small your channel is. It's going to be other people that is going to be able to witness that. They're going to want to bite up off of that. They're going to want to be able to eat up off of that. They're going to want to eat up off your energy. They see that you are a small channel, so they're going to basically try to come and discredit you in a way. They already know what it is that you're carrying. They already know that one day you're going to have a bigger channel. And they want to be a part of that. So a few days later, because I responded back, I'm open to constructive criticism. I'm open to whatever options you get. You want to help me grow my channel so that I could be able to reach more people? I'm open to that, okay? I just left it at that. I ain't getting no long, drawn out email. But this person had emailed me a couple of days later, like, yeah, yeah, wop de wop de wop type of thing. And basically trying to charge me and say, oh, well, yeah, um, I can send you my prices and things like that. Okay, so I already, you see, you see, I got a small channel, right? Nine times out of ten, you already know I'm not really making no money on YouTube yet. Okay. But you come in trying to charge me for you to help me put out my content? You ain't behind these scenes helping me create these edits. You ain't behind me telling me what it is that I need to say. That's the Lord that's helping me do all this. The Lord helped me edit my videos. He helped me come out with certain titles of videos that I need to put out here. You ain't helping me doing none of that. So the audacity of you to come in my email and tell me that I need to pay you for my content. Okay. What is it that you're going to be able to help me with? What is it that you are going to be able to help me with? He basically trying to say that he could help me tweak my channel a little bit so where I can be able to pull in more views and subscribers. I don't care about that type of stuff. And see, this is the one thing about people. People be so desperate for popularity and subscribers and views and money and stuff like that. They will probably be willing to pay this guy. Okay, all he doing is getting over. He ain't helped you create nothing. He ain't helped you come up with your YouTube platform. He ain't helped you to YouTube name. He ain't had a part of none of your creativity, but he want to come and try to profit off of your influence. Okay, the things that you didn't sat down and worked hard on. He want a piece of the pie that he ain't even helped make. You don't know my ingredients. You don't get to have the secret formula to my sauce. Okay, the Lord the, I already presented me with the ingredients that I need for my special sauce that I am putting in my influence to other people. Can't nobody else duplicate that. Ain't nobody else going to get the credit for his work. Okay, I'm not going to even get the credit for it. He is. People are going to try to come in his credit your work, but at the same time trying to compliment you in a way too. Like, oh yeah, you got a good channel, but yeah, you can probably do this to improve it. I don't care about no views and pop. I come on here and tell y'all all the time, I do not care about no popularity or money or none of that type of stuff. This ain't no money thing to me. Okay. This ain't never been about no money for me. If that was the case, I would have been coming on here asking y'all for money. This ain't no money thing for me. I don't care about that type of stuff. The Lord is going to bless me with whatever he feels as though he want me to have. If y'all are so generous enough to send me something to help support and grow my channel, I'm appreciative of that. I am thankful of that. But if you don't give me anything, I'm fine with that. I'm not going to be upset about that. I'm not finna come in. I ain't never been one to try to come and beg nobody for no money. Okay. I don't care about nothing like that. <laughs> I'm still going to make videos whether you give me anything or not. That's the whole point. But yeah, that's the type of stuff you're going to be dealing with. Or you probably already dealing with. You're going to have so many leeches out here. Spiritual vultures, spiritual leeches that are going to be coming and trying to eat up off of your influence. They are going to try to come and eat up off of the gift that the Lord gave you. He ain't give it to nobody else. He gave it to you specifically. And you're not going to come discredit that. And you're not going to come and eat and bite up off of that in no type of way. You can keep continuing to watch the videos and get whatever sort of inspiration you get from the videos. Hopefully it help you in some way. Okay. But you are not going to come and try to profit. Oh, for me, I ain't even making nothing yet. So has it that you feel as though I'm going to be able to give you something? I'm not that desperate for popularity. I'm not desperate for attention. Okay. You can go to somebody else with it. 
but yeah that's basically why i want to come and share with you people are going to try to come and discredit your gifts <laughs> All types of things. They are going to try to make you come and seem like, oh, they're going to give you a compliment, but they are going to give you a backhanded compliment at the same time. Like, okay, yeah, you got good videos, but you ain't really no big time influence or nothing like that. Like, come on now, you a hater from the sadness. You sitting back watching. Okay, because otherwise you wouldn't have felt the need to write me that long, drawn out email trying to help grow my channel. Okay. You can't help me with nothing. The Lord is the only person that can help me. If I want to do something different with my channel to grow my channel, the Lord is the only person that's going to give me the creativity to do that. I have so many things and ideas of where I want to take my channel. I want to do things that's way outside of YouTube. Okay. This whole thing, these gifts that the Lord has gave me, I'm going to do more with it. And ain't nobody else going to have their hands in it but me and the Lord. So I appreciate your constructive criticism, but I'm going to bypass. But yeah, y'all. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. <laughs> Once you grow strong with Christ, you walk boldly in your purpose, in your calling. You ain't going to waver for nobody. You ain't going to be so quick to hand your stuff over to nobody else. Money. You got people out here paying. I think I had heard something back then where they said people pay for their views and they subscribe. I don't know how true that is. I don't think you could really pay for views and subscribers. Or, well, you know, some people probably are. But some people are really just that, that desperate for social media attention. That's all it is behind it. Social media attention, popularity. They want to be known around the world. They want people to see them and notice them. And so they may be willing to pay a certain price just to get that. I don't care about none of that type of stuff. I wasn't ever no popular girl. Growing up in school, none of that type of stuff. I never cared about no stuff like that. So the Lord is going to take and grow my channel to wherever it is he, it needs to go. Okay, my channel can see that 800 subscribers for the next couple of years. If the Lord say, I'm not ready to grow your channel, I don't want these. The Lord is keeping certain people away from my channel. The Lord is going to bring up on your channel who needs to be there. He's going to bring your trap to you. He's going to keep the people that's not supposed to be on your channel away from your channel. Okay, that's how the Lord works. I don't want nobody on my channel that's not supposed to be here. Especially if you ain't coming with the right intentions. You can be dismissed. Bye. That's why I know my channel ain't big and popular. Because I know I'm not everybody cup of tea. I know everybody is not on the same walk as me. Everybody is not with the right intentions. I already know why my channel not sitting at a thousand subscribers right now or more. I already know. It's 73% of people that watch my channel that is not subscribed. And 23% that is subscribed. I already know this. I've been doing this for a while. I already know that it's plenty of people that's not subscribed to my channel that come and watch my channel faithfully. My channel would have been sitting at a thousand plus subscribers. But a lot of people are not supporting you like that. They are just coming to watch. They don't want to see your channel growing no type of way. They will come and eat up off your energy in your channel. They are not going to support you in no type of way. They are not going to subscribe. They just going to keep continuing to sit back and watching. Okay. That ain't going to stop the messages from coming though. I, that, because I'm not on here for that. That's not my purpose of being up on here. It's the whole point of what I'm trying to say. I already know that it's 73% of y'all that's coming to watch this not subscribe to my channel. I already know that. As long as you come and get a message, as long as you come to my channel and get whatever you need from my channel that's going to help and push and grow your life in any type of way, I don't care whether you subscribe or not. As long as you come and get what you were supposed to get, okay? If the Lord led you to my channel and you got something positive from my channel, it don't matter whether you subscribed or not, as long as you got what you needed. <laughs> that's the whole point, okay? I came for a purpose. I came what I was supposed to do. So all that other stuff is irrelevant to me. <laughs> Okay, the Lord brought me up on YouTube. The Lord broke my shackles of silence. He gave me a voice to speak. And that's why I'm up on YouTube. Okay, I'm building and strengthening my confidence every day. I will never come stop speaking about the Lord because this is him that's working through me. This ain't nobody else but him. If I had my way, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't even have the confidence to come show my face. I wouldn't even have the confidence to even speak. Okay. This has everything to do with me and the Lord and nothing to do with nobody else. Okay. The people that's coming 
that's coming for a good purpose. They want to turn their life over to Christ. They're the only people I'm concerned about. I don't care about no people coming to watch to be envious and jealous. I already know that's what comes with the territory. I've been going through envy and jealousy my entire life. I don't care about nobody not supporting me. It's not going to stop what the Lord has instilled in me. He's, it's not going to stop me from reaching and teaching who it is that I need to teach. I don't care if it's one person out of 800 people. That's all I care about. <laughs> but yeah, that's when it comes to operating your purpose. Are you really here for the right purposes? A lot of people are not on here for that. They are on here for a different purpose. They are on here to get popularity, money and views and things like that. And that's their business. That ain't none of my business. I know why I'm up on here. The people that's coming to get it, how they live and doing whatever they want, that's their business. People are going to do whatever they want to do with their life. The only person I'm concerned about is me and man. Okay. I'm concerned about my relationship with the Lord and the people that's on my channel that's really rocking with me for real. The real true supporters. They feel where I'm coming from. Okay. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody at all. Okay. So yeah, that's all I want to come and say. I ain't even know what the title of this video was going to be. I started off talking about how Moses had a speech problem. Okay. The Lord brought me up out of my silence. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. I want to reach the people that have a speech problem. I want to reach the people that shy, introverted. I want to reach those people. I want them to have the power they can open their mouth and speak to people. I don't want them to have the ability and the confidence to get on YouTube and record a video to help people operate in a real purpose. It's too many counterfeits out here. Okay. The Lord called you to do something special. He don't want all these other voices out here. He wants you to do it. That's why I be coming to make these videos. You need to break up out of your shyness. You need to stop being comfortable in your silence. You are not going to get to where you need to be. If you don't open your mouth and speak, you need to speak. Okay. Nobody else is going to be able to do it for you. Okay, don't let nobody put no words in your mouth. Don't give nobody else the ability to tell your story for you. Tell your own story. That's why a lot of y'all are suffering now because you're too quiet. You are a mute. You need the Lord to break them shackles of silence up off you. The Lord, the enemy has had his hands on you for too long. You need to come up out of your shyness. You don't need to keep using that as an excuse. Oh, I'm introverted and all this and that. No, you're not introverted. You're not introverted. The Lord gave all of us a voice to speak. So you should be using it to operate in your gifts, in your purpose. You don't need to be sitting up worried about what people are going to think about you. Forget what these people are going to have to say about you. When you step out of your silence, when you step out of your fear, when you step into your purpose and you gain a certain level of confidence, they are still going to have something to say about you. Okay? They talking about you right now. They calling you dumb and slow. Okay? They saying that you too afraid to speak. They are going to be getting over on you and taking advantage of you because you don't know how to open your mouth and stand up for yourself. You are going to keep continuing to suffer. If you don't open your mouth and speak, if you don't operate in your purpose, in your gifts, you are going to suffer for that. The Lord is going to make you suffer for going against him. That's going against the Lord. When you are not opening your mouth and speak and you are not using your voice for what he called you to do, he is going to make you suffer greatly behind it. That's why a lot of people out here are suffering in life. They are not getting certain opportunities handed to them because they're not opening their mouth. Okay. I'm sorry I'm being passionate, a little bit blunt with this, but I got to come and speak on what's real. You are going to continue to suffer if you do not open your mouth. A closed mouth don't get fed, honey. You ain't going to get no blessings handed to you. You ain't going to get the life that you asking for. You ain't going to get that peace and that happiness that you've been praying for. If you don't learn how to open your mouth and use them gifts that the Lord gave you, you are going to suffer in the spirit. You are going to suffer spiritually. You ain't going to have no spiritual strength if you don't open your mouth. You need to use what the Lord has called you to do. You can't ignore that. He's going to make you suffer greatly behind it. He's going to make you suffer and the devil going to make you suffer. You're going to be dealing with two different kinds of warfare. Okay, the wrath of the Lord and the deception of the enemy. You're going to be going through two different types of spiritual warfare. Going against the Lord and your consequences behind going against the Lord is that you are going to be constantly being up under attack from the devil. So if you don't open your mouth and speak, it's going to continue. You are going to suffer. Okay. Open your mouth and speak. Do not be afraid. The Lord said, fear ye not. Fear ye not. The Lord says, have no fear. Fear ye not. I am the Lord your God. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you wherever you go. You are never alone in your silence. Okay? He is there with you. 
operate in your purpose and your gifts. We are living in the end times now. You have to use your purpose. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to be here next month, next week, next year. You need to get on YouTube and make a video. You need to get on YouTube and tell your testimony. Forget what all these other people going to say about you. Forget these people talking about some, oh, you oversharing, you telling too much of your business. Forget them people, okay? They don't have enough strength and courage to come share their story. That's why they trying to stop you from sharing yours. They are fearful of speaking and opening their mouth. They are fearful of getting their strength behind their pain, okay? These people throwing this fake shade, talking about some all people oversharing, they need to stop telling all their business. That ain't nothing but the enemy. If you got to get on here and share your testimony and you got to tell all your business, by all means do that. The Lord ain't judging you, so it don't matter. Okay, forget what all these other people saying. A lot of people do not have the strength and courage to come share their story. So they are going to try to throw everything they can out here to try to keep people from speaking their truth, telling their story, getting their strength and their peace. It's people out here getting their strength and their peace behind sharing their testimony. They getting their strength and their healing coming on YouTube and telling their testimony. Okay, just because you ain't got the strength and the courage to do certain things. That don't mean you should be trying to encourage nobody else not to do so. You don't know who the Lord has called these people to come and reach and teach with their messages. It may be an overshare for you, but it ain't for the person and it can't need it to be broke up out of their silence. It ain't no overshare for the person that's battling with a spirit of shyness their entire life. It ain't no overshare for them people. Get on here and get your healing, okay? Stop listening to these people. These people don't have enough courage to get on here and share their testimony because they care too much about what other people are going to think about them. They care too much about judgments. Okay? You don't care about none of that. <laughs> the Lord says operate in your gifts. You have to do what the Lord has called you to do. It don't matter about what nobody else got to say and think. Okay? They're going to have something bad to say about you whether you share your testimony or not. It don't matter because you operating in your gifts without no fear. You are operating boldly and you are going to have some people that are going to be intimidated by that. They are going to be envious and jealous of that. They are going to be trying to throw out all types of messages, confusion, and try to silence you from telling your story. Do not listen to these people. Some people care too much about what other people think about them. Hey, that's not your problem. Okay, you come and do what the Lord told you to do. Especially if you're a person that's been going up against opposition your whole life. You've been being talked about. You've been being ostracized and bullied and picked apart and picked on and left that and stuff like that. So this whole thing with social media, people knowing your business and oh, whispering behind your back. That ain't nothing new to you. Okay? You ain't new to this. You true to this. You don't care what people got to say about you. You've been dealing with this probably your entire life. That's why it's a lot of people out here, they have a huge channel. They may have success because they told their story. They didn't care about the judgments of other people. They didn't care. People are more relatable to you when you don't care about what they think. Okay? Whether they got something good or bad to say about you. That ain't going to stop you from doing what the Lord has called you to do. That ain't going to stop you from saying what you got to say. Okay? But yeah, just like I said in the previous video, some people are, are going to envy your real roundedness, your ability to connect with so many different people. Like if the Lord would have never brought me up out of my shyness and my silence, I would have never had no connections with people. Like I had got people commenting on my video all the way from a year ago when I spoke about jealousy. That was a video that I shared. I was just trying to get that up off my chest. I wasn't doing that for no views, no subscribes. I didn't think that it, that video was going to hit them many views and comments and like that. I'm still getting comments today from that. It ain't nothing but a blessing from the Lord. Okay? So do what it is that you call to do. It don't matter. People envy your ability to be able to connect with people. That's something else that you are going to be able to notice. If you are the type of person you come and share personal things about yourself, you don't care what these people got to say about you. Okay? You may be the type of person to come and share your entire life story. You may be the type of person to share TMA type of things. Things that people should know. But you just sharing it because you don't care what they're going to say. If you are a person that's coming... And you trying to get your peace and your strength behind a situation. You don't care what nobody got to say about you. Okay, you done dealt with the worst of the worst. People that you know personally have talked about you like a dog. So what do you care about what some strangers going to have to say? You shouldn't care about that at all. Okay, some people are just going to envy your ability to be able to just relate and connect to people. You're well around in it. Okay, you may be well versed. You are reaching people all around the world. I didn't have people come and comment on my channel from Africa, people from Spain, 
people from different countries all over the world. And it ain't nothing but the Lord that gave me the strength and ability to be able to do that. So I am not about to give you the power and authority to discredit what the Lord has gave me. Okay? You can think whatever you want, feel however you want to feel about me. I'm going to come and share my strength. I'm going to come and share my story, my testimony. I don't care what nobody got to think and say about me. At the end of the day, it's all about the Lord. I got to answer to him at the end of the day. If I didn't do my purpose and what I was called to do, I got to deal with the wrath of him. I don't want the wrath from the Lord. Come on here and do your purpose. I see so many different in smaller channels. People just not starting out that channel. It ain't never too late for you to start your YouTube channel. Stop looking at all these different people with these huge channels and you get intimidated because you thinking you got to do all this and that to push your message. It depends on what your purpose is for why you are coming up on YouTube. It is going to determine your success and where your channel is going to take you. I personally feel like your channel is not going to be able to grow without the Lord. Okay. Whatever it is that you are pushing on your videos, you don't even have to be coming to make content about him. If you do anything, you can be talking about games. You can be talking about food. You can be talking about fashion. You can be talking about interior design. You can be talking about art. If you come with the right intentions in the Lord, it's a part of your life and you pray over your channel and you pray for the Lord to give you your tribe. Anything that you do is going to be successful. You don't even have to make no channel, create no Christian content or none of that type of stuff. You can be coming on land talking about anything. The people are going to know that the Lord has his hand up over your life. It don't matter what you come and push on your channel. It's going to hit for the people that it needs to hit for. It don't have to hit for everybody. You ain't going to be everybody's cup of tea. And that's okay. That's okay. Don't let these people um intimidate you from coming to start your channel. Okay, I told you I started out at 11 subscribers. And I'm just going to come and be real. I remember I first started my channel and I started out talking about the Lord. There's plenty of videos that I have removed from my channel because that wasn't my purpose. I even had the Lord convict me about certain videos that I had posted on my channel and I took them down. The Lord told me to take that stuff down. This ain't your purpose. This ain't what I called you to do. Okay. You are on here for the wrong purpose. Yeah, I had the Lord come and tell me that. Take them videos down. I didn't bring you up out of your silence for you to come on here and do this. Take that down right now. Don't even leave it up. My channel would probably be bigger than what it is now if I would have left some of them videos up. Oh, because the Lord came and convicted me and told me to take it down. I did that. Because I didn't want to be out here misleading people. Okay? I ain't coming on here talking just to hear my voice. I'm coming on here to influence and help people. Okay? This ain't about getting no popularity, no attention and views. I ain't finna be putting no crap out here in the world. I don't want that type of attention. And traffic on my channel at all okay i already know where i came from and i already know where i'm going i already know what the lord has brought me up out of i'm most definitely not going to be coming on here showing no messages of confusion and i'm most definitely not coming on here misleading people okay social media influence is very powerful a lot of people are coming on youtube for a life change okay a lot of people are coming on youtube because they are lost they are looking for a way out of their darkness they are coming on land for so many different purposes. And if they come to my channel, I want them to walk away with something. I'm not going to be putting a whole bunch of junk out here on YouTube. And that's another thing you will notice about being on this walk with Christ. People will be jealous and envious of the type of content that you are putting out. You come in speaking about the Lord and they on here doing other things for popularity and views. And they keep on, they, they'll come on down and get to putting out subliminal messages, trying to fake take shots at you. And it ain't, like I said, it's, it's all about the spirit. Okay. It has nothing to do with the person. It's all about the spirit that they are carrying. They'll be trying to take shots at you because you are coming to put out certain content videos. They mad that you come on here and talk about the Lord. They mad that you come on here with so much transparency. They don't like your reach and your influence with people. They don't like it. These people may have bigger channels than you, smaller channels than you. And they are envious of what you are carrying. You don't care that they on here for the wrong intentions. You on here trying to help and reach and teach the people that you need to teach. And you are on here sharing your relationship with the Lord. You love the Lord and you are sharing that with people. You ain't lukewarm about nothing. You ain't ashamed of what people are going to say about you. They don't know your story. They don't know what the Lord has brought you up out of. You might have been the type of person that was in the same position, the same mad frame as them when you was in the world. But you decided that you want to make a change. 
It ain't about you thinking that you better than nobody. That ain't what this is about. This is about your purpose and your walk with Christ. It has nothing to do with nobody else. People are going to take your walk with Christ offensively. Okay. They are going to be triggered by the fact that you have a relationship with the Lord. The Lord wants you to operate in your gifts so that people can turn their lives over to him. That's the purpose of your channel. It don't matter what nobody else got to think about you. They can think whatever they want to think. They can call you holier than thou. They can say that you are too perfect. I didn't have people call me Miss Perfect. I didn't have people come and say, oh, you think you perfect. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was out here operating in sin, I had people telling me that I thought I was too perfect. Okay, they seen my purpose. They seen the greatest on me. They knew that I was better than the situation that I was in. A lot of people see your purpose before you do. They'll try to come and make it seem like you think you are too perfect. You think you are too good for people because they are envious of your relationship with the Lord. You've been had a relationship with the Lord since you was a child, even though you was going through certain um, situations in your life. Where you was being corrupted and you was being deceived. You still had the Lord walking with you, even in your darkness. People are going to be able to witness that. People are going to be envious and jealous of that too. You're going to have some people that are going to be intimidated by your walk with Christ. Okay. You're going to have so many different types of spiritual warfare coming from so many different people. And that's why you need the Lord hand on your life. That's why you need emotional maturity. Emotional maturity is going to put you in a mind frame to where you are not going to care what people are going to say about you. People are going to have so many things to say. So many nasty, evil hearted things to say to you. They're going to have so many different assumptions about you. And that's not important. Once you start operating your gifts, you are going to start to notice that you have a newfound sense of confidence. People are going to start to be envious of that. Especially if you used to be the type of person that was extremely shy and introverted. You ain't have confidence. You used to have low self-esteem. And now you operating confidently. You showing up in this world. You showing up and showing out. Okay, you look like strength. You look like joy. You look like happiness. You look like the type of person people will want to take their influence from. And people are going to be jealous of that. Okay, you ain't walking around looking like your problems. You ain't walking around feeling some type of way about other people because you don't want to get up and put yourself together. You want to walk around looking any kind of way in this world. You want to present yourself a certain kind of way. And you want to get mad at the person that's taking time out to put themselves together. Your strength and your peace, you are wearing it on you. It's on your appearance. Your peace, your strength, your healing. People are going to see it on you. Even when you dress yourself up, people are still going to see it. Okay, people are going to be envious and jealous of that. They are going to be jealous and envious of your presentation, how you put yourself together. They don't like the fact that you are healed behind certain things that the Lord has brought you through. These spirits are going to be able to see what the Lord has brought you through. They are going to see your confidence. They are going to see your strength. They are going to be intimidated by it. They are going to call you stuck up, vain, materialistic, all that type of stuff because they are envious of your strength. They are envious of your gift and the way that it was packaged. Okay, they don't want you to have no kind of confidence. They want you to have low self-esteem so that they can feel better about themselves. Okay, because they got low self-esteem. They don't have enough strength to get up and put themselves together to come and show up and show out in this world so that they can be taken seriously. So they are intimidated by your confidence. They're going to try to mistake your confidence for arrogance and say that you stuck up and you think you better than people. Nah, baby, you envious and jealous of the way I put myself together. That's what you jealous of. You jealous of this confidence and strength. You ain't think that I was going to have the strength and ability to have this type of confidence. You thought I was going to be having low self-esteem like you? Nah, baby, this ain't nothing but the Lord. Every time I show up and show out, it ain't nothing but the Lord on me. That's what you jealous and envious of. These overly religious people want you to show up a certain kind of way want you to be this cookie cutter person that they have envisioned and they mad about how you supposed to come people are going to be mad at you because you ain't coming delivering certain things how they want you to deliver it it ain't about what you want it's about what the lord told me what to do i don't care about what you want you ain't gonna be everybody cup of tea either and that's another thing you need to be mentally and emotionally prepared for be prepared for everybody not to like you be prepared for everybody to probably turn their noses up at you be prepared for people to call you every name but the child of god be prepared for people to be envious of you because of the way that you show up in this world people are even going to be envious and jealous of the fact that even though you come the way you come and your appearance may give off that of a person that is arrogant and stuck up in vain. And when they come and see that you are a humble, down-to-earth, sweet person, they are going to be even more jealous of that. They want you to be that arrogant, stuck-up person. This ignorant.
that's the person that they thought you was. But then when they find out that you're the total opposite, they gonna be in their feelings about that. Okay? How this girl all made up and dressed up and stuff, but she still humble. She still know how to speak to people. She still know how to give somebody else a compliment. But she still want to come help people. She want to come share her testimony. How she all made up and done up and stuff, but she humble enough to come share personal things about her life with people without the fear of judgment. She don't care what people got to say about her. She ain't got nothing to have. She just came and talked about her mother's drug addiction. She didn't came and share other personal things about herself that no arrogant, stuck up person would ever be able to come and share because they care too much about what other people think about them. They too busy worried about how people are going to see them. They are too embarrassed to share their real, raw, authentic self to people. They are going to be highly intimidated by the fact that you're not even the type of person that they thought you were. They thought you was this arrogant, stuck up person. But then when they came and think that it was the total opposite, they was highly disappointed. They wanted these rumors that people have been putting out here about you to be true in some way. They don't like the way people receive you either. They don't like the fact that you're able to go into a room and get to relating and talking to people and making real genuine connections with people. Certain opportunities handed to you, you would have never been able to make. If you would have kept your mouth shut. Them doors opportunities would have never been open to you. If you would have never had the confidence. If you would have never had the voice. You got the evidence to beg up what you seen. You ain't all talk. You ain't all show. People are going to be jealous. Of your abilities to be able to connect with people. Okay. They want you to be this shy. Insecure person. So that they can be able to keep constantly going out here throwing these judgments out here about you. They ain't want you to be able to have a voice to speak up for yourself. They want to have the ability to control your life. Don't let nobody put no words in your mouth. Don't let nobody be the dictator over your life. The Lord is the dictator over your life. You tell them that. When you get through. I used to always hear my mama say all the time. Every time my mama was in the spirit. She was fighting them demons, honey. My mom used to always say, you gonna see what my God gonna do when you get through. When you get through thinking that you doing something with your spiritual attacks you keep on throwing out here with this envy and jealousy you keep on displaying, you think you doing something, but when you get through, you gonna see the Lord show up and show out on my life every single time. You're gonna be able to witness it, okay? You're gonna keep witnessing it. You're gonna keep feeling some type of way every time you come on my channel and see me speak, okay? You gonna keep continuing to see my strength. You gonna keep continuing to hear my voice. You are not gonna silence me. Tell these spirits, you are not going to silence me. I'm going to make my YouTube channel today. I'm going to record my video today, whether it be an audio or if it's me face to face. I don't care if I'm stuttering, stumbling. I don't care if I'm got speech problem. I don't care. I'm gonna break my shackles of silence today on Sunday. We in church today. So let the church say amen. Okay, thank you, Jesus. It's time to usher the Lord on up into the room. It's time for the Lord to come break these shackles of silence and fear up off of people. Usher the Lord up into the room. We don't care about what these spirits got to say about us. We don't care about none of the judgments they throwing up against us. We don't care about none of the spiritual attacks they keep on throwing up against us. We are still going to stand strong and stand 10 toes down every single time against these spirits. Every time they try to rise up against us, the Lord is always going to come through the lord is always going to come through for you the lord is always going to come and show up and show out for you when you walk boldly in your purpose and your gifts you don't care what nobody got to say and that's the video message okay so hopefully y'all got something from this video hopefully it helped you in some way continue to protect y'all soul and spirit and i will talk to y'all in the next video